Hey, so welcome back. So this is an update video for QBTS and overall um, the quantum space where the stocks you might be watching. We'll go through some of them, but we'll talk about QBTC because QBTS. Uh, we talked about this one last Friday when I was uh, talking about the flows and I was talking about that this is pump and dump. This is going to go down. A lot of people have accumulated way before you did and then they were uh, pretty much loading the options and option market was driving all this move and now we have a little bit more information uh, from that Friday and I want to share those but again I'm not telling you to buy or sell this is purely for entertainment purposes only so today well a lot of you probably were excited <laughs> I, I was watching this name to see if it um, if it does this flush and tries to push back up but then I kept uh, watching the option activity that I pretty much shared on my last video literally this weekend were two flows that I shared I think so there was seven dollar call which came in very early it had 30 something open interest and that was 35,000 or so 36,000 open interest and they accumulated those contracts for about one million dollars okay and just like what i expected on friday they trimmed a little bit more today they trimmed they sold another 6700 and now they're already sitting on a fat uh gains so they made pretty good money so basically they made a couple million and they have also unsold uh contracts that they're holding uh, going into probably for the rest of the week because it expires on March and then also I showed you guys this $5 call 20,000 contract comes in literally into the end of the day uh, somewhere right here like five ten minutes before market close at around 10 and today they sold it everything and I know those guys how they do it they usually there are times they take a loss too but it was ten million dollar order so that order they sold as well this was five dollar in the money call so if you if you take a look at it i mean I'll, I'll show you guys on a on a chart where they started selling it so they come in last right right around five dollar levels and then they start selling it at like six dollars six dollars and pretty much at six bucks they're out so essentially they turn 10 million dollars into 12 million dollars and overnight they're up 20 million i mean two million dollars so 20 percent so and then there's there was also the seven calls that accumulated way early so i'm gonna i showed you but if you're new or if you're just watching they bought it right here at 30 cents 25 cents and then they started trimming it on friday at two dollars to 50 somewhere here and today they sold it at four dollars as well these are the guys i'm talking about that they're they're, they're already sitting on a fat gain like thousands of percent so pretty much they're riding the rest and maybe it has a but to me, QBTS doesn't doesn't look like it has too much of a gas in the tank. So just like I was expecting, maybe 13, 14, 15 was the top. That was my thumbnail last time I talked about this one on my channel right here on Friday. 13, 15, pump and dump. So this 11.45 or something, 11.38, that was I was watching uh, pre-market that was the highest printing uh, price level for the stock and it pretty much couldn't reclaim it at, at the end of the day it tried it but then also pre-market high of $12 it didn't um, pretty much test it today so into the end of the year pulling back a little bit but we still have time and that event that is coming up I, mean, which I just talked about in the discord it's a sell the news event okay I for me again I'm not telling you what to do but that's my take and at the same time, uh, I showed you guys the large orders that came in where they accumulated uh, via, thanks to volume leaders, where you can see the largest orders, how they accumulated 55 million, 60, uh, 64, 6,927. Cluster of those orders were coming in, coming in right around these levels. Okay. So, I mean, at these price levels, and I'm not sure if they were executed particularly at that day, but yeah i'm guessing that they were particularly bought somewhere around here most of them right when they were buying options and then today in the morning second largest order came in so somebody sold 32 million at ten dollars and 77 cents 
And I told about that. Like, don't you think that these guys are, uh, when they're sitting on a 100% gain in a very short period of time, won't they sell? Of course they will sell. But of course they cannot do it right away. They have to suck in more suckers into this name to dump slowly and get, a, get out. And as soon as volume goes lower, these names come will come right back down. Um, and again, let's go quickly through the, uh, the rest of the names. QMC, oh, Quantum, so this one is very thin name, 125 million outstanding shares. I mean, not outstanding, this is a capitalization of the stock. That's why the fact that this is up 40%, uh, it doesn't matter to me. It's a very tiny, thin name, which spreads large spread. So if you're trading something like this, you're going to be super careful. Qubit, uh, that name is today 13%. QBTS is up uh, 10%, not a big deal. Lunar, okay, I'm not going to talk about that one. Uh, where's the rest of the uh, quantum? Ion Q, flat no bid whatsoever because literally i told you guys that there are many bag holders that are going to putting a pressure as soon as it starts getting going and again uh, same thing with the uh, regetti rgti getting stalled at these levels because this 12 dollar level is very big level and at the same time this is a 50 day moon average and i went through the option activity for these names as well there's not much of an excitement for these names okay so the only leader was qbts and that name is slightly up uh, with how well, much volume traded today. So 206 million volume traded today. So probably another you know, second largest trade. So my take is these will present really, really good short shorting opportunities. Once these, once these flows out, might have a little bit of a gas in the tank, but I'm not gonna entertain that level. I mean, if the, today was the best day, Everything was up in the market. If you take a look at the heat map of the S&P 500, uh, Russell 2000, uh, and even then, these small caps couldn't post a little bit larger gains. Um, so I'm guessing that whatever the event is going to start, what is it on Thursday? Quantum, where we are, where we headed. That will be the sell, uh, sell the news um, if into that event, these names are trading above these levels. So, but for me, yeah, I'm seeing all those flows start selling. So I'm, I'm gonna guess that this is it. This is, uh, this doesn't have much of a upside, maybe dollar, maybe $2 to 13 maybe. But I don't think that it's gonna go much higher than that. So, but again, I could be wrong. I was wrong many, many times, but that's just my take, random guy onto YouTube, okay? Uh, I keep an eye on small caps a lot, but for the most part, I trade large caps, but small caps, these present pretty may present pretty good shorting opportunity into e April once this uh, March the option expiration happens, and then these could be very good fade into the April option expiration. So, but again, this is my take uh, on qubits and all all of these quantum names uh, today, Monday, March seventeenth, and these videos are purely for entertainment and education purposes only thanks for watching if you're new to the channel don't forget to like subscribe uh discord is free if you want to check it out but peace